Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jeremy coming back to you. Episode 221 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. We've got something a little bit different for you today. It's an interview, but it's showing up on a Thursday because it's not an interview of the person. We're really talking about a product. So today you're going to hear a conversation I had with Jan Eric Bargelin. And I'm doing my best with his name, but it's a whole different language there. You'll, you'll, you'll hear more about that later. And we talk about the product that his company, Kick AI, is about to release onto the world. Pretty cool stuff. This is not just a, a product review or anything like that. We get into the, the nitty gritty of why something like this doesn't exist. I had a great time talking to him. We've got a discount code over on the show notes for you to check out. We make nothing on this. And it's really important that I underscore this a few times. We are not a pay-to-play podcast. There are plenty of them out there. We receive no benefit, whether you buy or don't. We receive no compensation for this guest appearance. I reached out because I like what they're doing. I think it's cool stuff, and it's not going to be for everybody. But for a lot of you out there, it's at least worth considering. So I'm going to step back, and you can listen to our conversation. Check it out. All right, listeners, welcome to a kind of a special, a little bit different episode of Martial Arts Radio. Today, I'm bringing somebody on, not so much to talk about them. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get this guest back to talk about their martial arts journey in the coming weeks. But we're actually on to talk about their business, their product. Obviously, at Whistlekick, we don't make everything, and we don't have plans to make everything. So when I see someone that's has similar values, they're trying to bring the martial arts world forward by bringing out a product that is better or completely different than anything that's available. I reach out to them and we talk and we have conversations. And in this case, it made sense to bring this individual on and have them share the story of what they're making with you. Now, I, I just want to be really honest. This isn't any kind of endorsement. This isn't any kind of of um, formal support other than I think what they're doing is really cool. And I'm supporting it in a personal way. So, Mr. Bargalin, welcome to Whistle Kick Martial Arts Radio. Thanks, Jeremy. Great to great to be here. Well, it's great to have you on. And I gave you that intro, and of course, I haven't said a single thing about what it is you folks are making. <laughs> so I would rather turn that over to you and let you introduce your product. Sure. Okay, so um, we're doing a sensor-based application uh, to martial arts, and uh, namely Taekwondo, and we really want to bring data understanding into martial arts world. So we're making a wearable uh, designated to just kicking, so it's not a general Fitbit kind of thing that tells you that you went running, but we really want to kind of let you know more about your kicks and how you how you can train better uh, in, in order to kind of get better in, in shorter times. So smarter training through wearables and uh, data app. Okay. So I know this isn't the name for it, but it, it instead of a Fitbit, it's a kick mm. bit. If you yeah, will. that was that was actually our first project name before we, really? we came up to. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 we we haven't actually talked to anyone like in public about it because it was kind of an inside joke with us founders. But in my very first PDF, it says Kickbit version one. <laughs> but of course, that's not the name. So what did what did you change the name into? Yeah, so the product and the company is called Kick AI, with the AI coming from the kind of the smart features that we're planning on the app app. Okay. So I know we'll get into what it does, but give me give me a little bit of history. Why because this isn't this isn't something that exists. I mean I'm sure a lot of listeners out there have Fitbits or Jawbones or or you know any number of other wearables that tell you your heart rate and your steps and how horribly you slept last night. <laughs> But why yeah. why did you want to make something for martial arts for specifically taekwondo? Uh, so yeah, I'm a I'm a taekwondo practitioner myself. I, I just recently got my first dan last December, and uh, I guess the story starts within that premise. I was um, kind of uh, pretty exactly 
one one and a half years ago i was starting my my kind of my preparations for my looming dentist and uh unfortunately i didn't have enough time on my hands to be at the dojang like as 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 much as i would have wanted so instead i hit the local gym which is kind of like next door from from my place and i did some work on the heavy bag and just you know doing basic kicks and uh you know, as martial artists, uh, I mean, in the in the in the very beginning, the learning curve is very steep. You kind of see results as you progress, and and for me at least, I, I felt that like I was in a place where I I couldn't anymore see how how I was developing if I was at all. Was I kind of putting the hours into the right kind of training and stuff like that? So. Um, I, I had just actually recently bought a Fitbit and, and, and done some running with it. And uh, I was pretty excited about that also. And I uh, started thinking about, like, is there is there a wearable for martial artists to kind of gather information from their from their kicking, like like really, really just focused on the kicks. And uh, I did some research while well, Googling and I was kind of surprised that there wasn't any and uh that, that was kind of like the start of the project that like I, I, I knew that I needed something. I found out there wasn't anything like that. And because of my background on service design, I kind of thought to myself that, hey, I got to I got to do this. So that was kind of the first steps of of kick AI, uh, then called Kickbit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I love about this story is that you can swap out a very small piece of the story and it's the whistle kick story. Mm, okay, cool. The idea. Mm -hmm. And if, if this episode goes live the day that I think it's going to mm. the, just the week before I will have given a little bit more because listeners were writing in and asking, you know, tell us a little bit more about how whistle kick was founded and why mm. sparring gear was the first thing that you did. So I, I love when businesses pop up from personal need that that yeah. idea that i want this thing and it doesn't exist and that frustrates me so fine i'm gonna make it myself yeah cool yeah and i think it just adds so much more value to the kind of the the whole thing like uh, i mean I, i'm really thinking about the user the end user in a way that like i mean if this would have come from Dado or adidas or something like that it would have been a, a whole different story i mean they're focused on just just a market and just a kind of like easy box but like I'm, I'm really like we at kick ai are really focused on bringing real value to the martial artist community right and martial arts is something that's always been very subjective yes you know when we do our forms and we say this form is better than that form it's subjective when we talk mm. about the idea of of even sparring much yes. of the time it can be subjective yeah, because it, you and know that, human beings are involved, and of course that's sure. one of the things that Olympic, that WTF or WT, I'm supposed to call it now, right? Uh, that, <laughs> yeah. that WT style Taekwondo is. But it's not WF, which was one of the options. <laughs> World Foundation. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that that would have been even somehow that would have been worse than WTF. Uh, <laughs> I know. For, for those of you that may not know, uh, the WTF, the World Taekwondo Federation, that organization, uh, finally after many many years decided that the acronym WTF was too close to the other acronym WTF. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll let you uh, figure out what that one is if you don't know. And uh, they spent the last two years rebranding as WT, World Taekwondo. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that style of sparring where there are sensors and, and talk to anybody who's in that world and those aren't perfect either, we don't have much that's objective. Mm. You know, we don't have a lot of ways to say this is getting better. This is better than that. And maybe that's why what you're doing resonates so strongly for me. When I had my own martial arts school, one of the things that I did as a test with my students was, okay, kick this bag as many times as you can in a minute. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll retest it. Yes. Can you, can you execute more kicks? But of course, that leaves a lot of variance for... Is the quality of the kick good? Are they kicking as high? You know, there's a lot of still subjective stuff going on in there. But of course, when you're talking about sensors and math and physics, mm. it's kind of hard to cheat that, isn't it? 
Yeah, and that was like that's like I mean, obviously, I was training by myself and like uh, with like doing when when I came up with the idea. But uh, immediately, I kind of started thinking about the kind of the whole situation in the dojang. Like, no matter how good you are as a teacher, how 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 like well developed your ma- masters are, it's like it's the training situation. It's always like one teacher, twenty plus pupils. And then you kick and like you're lucky to get even one feedback from from a training. I mean, not because it's a bad teacher, but it's just because there's just so much going on. And even if you get that good feedback, like it's still subjective. It's still visual. It's still like it, it has to, like it, it's lacking real value, which is something that we, we really want to change. And I, I think it's like it's not just Taekwondo. It's not just WTF or ITF or karate. I mean, there's nothing viable in any martial arts at the moment. I mean, in boxing, there are some uh, technology kind of applications out there, but nothing for the kind of the more traditional martial arts. So in the big picture, we really want to bring value to other martial artists also. Mm. We're at an interesting time with both, you know, these fitness or, or exercise or, or passion pursuits, wherever you lump martial arts, wherever you lump Taekwondo, it, coupled with the technology, there are group fitness classes going on. Longtime listeners know that in addition to martial arts, I'm passionate about CrossFit. And there are CrossFit gyms where everyone will wear a heart rate monitor. And the coach is not just watching what people are doing and, and encouraging them, but also able to monitor their heart rate and know this person might be going a little bit too hard. This person maybe could push it a little bit more and it gives them an additional data point. It gives them more feedback so they can do their job better. And I'm guessing there's, if if not in the first version, you probably have some plans for how instructors could coach classes with everyone wearing a kick AI. Oh yeah, definitely. That's, that's like, that's the first thing on our roadmap as soon as we get this first First version out, I mean, we, we have talked to a lot of coaches and a lot of high-level athletes, Olympic athletes, Olympic coaches. And, and the thing is that, like, they need data, but they need broad data. Like, we, it's it's not just a consumer thing that, hey, you did this, you did that, and, and here's a kind of, like, virtual trophy for you. They really want to understand the big picture, and we're really kind of, like, open to other platforms also. Like, they need, they need stuff from sleep, from nutrition from like what it's really all about that one percent kind of advantage and it's a kind of the number of many things so we really want to be like providing really valuable data on the one end of the spectrum and and kind of like connecting with with other providers on the on the rest so what can this thing do? So I, I, I don't even know what it looks like. You know, mm. is, this a, is this a clip? Is it, a, is it an anklet? Am I going to feel like I've been released from prison while I'm wearing this thing? Uh, no, no that, was, that was like yeah, our first version, obviously, when we have done some uh, 3D printing and, and uh, like kind of like prototyping. It did look, to be honest, a bit like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, uh, if you go to our site, www w.kickai.com you can see how it's going to look like so it's it's really sleek and uh, small it's it's uh, a bit like uh, how can I describe I mean go and check it yourself but it's gonna have an ankle mount that you can wear with your standard WTF sparring gear and even your sparring shoes on so it's you're gonna slip it on you're gonna tighten it tighten the strap and then you're gonna uh, put in the sensor into a holster and hook it into your app and uh, off you go, you start kicking. So we're going to have a number of uh, number of uh, simulations, kind of like uh, we really want to do the simulations in a way that you feel like they, you, you really know what you're doing. Like there are simulations, digital versions of the stuff that you really would do in a dojo. We have reaction reaction simulations, uh, birth simulations and, and like pretty much we can digital digitalize most trainings that are really familiar to you from your dojang. Uh, then you have a, after each training you get the uh, feedback from from your training which is 
something that like in itself would be really valuable and you can see your your results from your training from uh, months back and kind of like see graphs and charts where you're where you're headed on your training like are you doing the right things and stuff like that and uh we're slowly starting to also like as soon as you start kicking uh, we're starting to do some very smart things on the app software side. So we're kind of creating your own individual training feed at the same time. So uh, the more you kick, the more we learn about you and more individual training tips we can give you. So that's that's basically the thing. Now, how about your background? Are, are you, I mean, how outside of martial arts, were, were you hmm. involved in, in engineering or... Uh, no, no, no. I'm 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 not overly tec- technical guy, but I am I'm a I have been doing digital stuff for I don't know uh, over ten years now, and um, I'm a service designer by background and a visual designer also. So I'm also the guy who's responsible of the branding stuff in our company, and uh, that's basically the thing. Like I, the founders in our company are are mostly my colleagues from down the road. So old colleagues that I know that really can pull the best possible product. So that's kind of our strength also. I mean, we have martial arts background, but we also have strong background on all things digital. So, so we don't, we're, we're not, we don't have to kind of ask people around how to do stuff. We really know how to do stuff. So great. Great. And I'm sure at this point we've got people listening who, you know, some of them might be thinking, that's kind of neat, you know. But then I know that there are others out there because I know some of our listeners. And I know that I was in this group when I first found out about what you were doing. And their head is is exploding right now. They're just – they're <laughs> thinking, okay, um, this sounds amazing. I want it yesterday. So so for for them cuz you know don't don't forget folks we'll link to everything whistlekickmartialartsradio.com we'll have pictures um this might be the easiest website we've ever talked about kickai.com if you can't figure out how to get there um you probably didn't figure out how to get this podcast but <laughs> you know we'll, we'll we'll drop some stuff over there you can go direct whatever works for you but if someone's interested you know is is this available yet uh how much and where did you get this great accent? Uh, so, yeah, um, we are at a point right now that we are uh, estimating that we will ship the first batches of our product, which is pretty limited edition also, uh, still this year. So we're looking at December right now. And uh, the product is available on pre-sale on our site. And it's really, really like, kind of, uh, I don't want to advertise it. But it's really straightforward to kind of pre-order it. And it's also really safe as you don't get charged anything until we have shipped. And it's uh, available worldwide also. Uh, The first, uh, we are at the moment really focused on the Android version of the software. But the iOS software will come uh, a few months behind that. So we're really... Really hoping that uh, on on December we will ship, and again it's really safe to pre-order it. Like you you will not pay anything until you have the actual product. So it's not a crowd crowdfunding project as we are in pre-sales already. Okay, great. And where is your company located? Uh, we're based in Helsinki, Finland. Okay, all right. Which is where that ac- wonderful accent comes from. <laughs> Cheers. We we didn't. <laughs> we've been getting more and more international folks on the show, and that just I think that's so cool. You know, we're uh, okay. Cool. Thanks. La- last last time I looked, we've we've been listened to in over 130 countries, and and that just kind of blew me away. That was a little more than I wow, I, had, that's cool. I had expected. Yeah, yeah. Like no pressure. <laughs> no, no, not at all. No, no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> and just personally, as an Android user. Thank you for starting on the Android side and not the iOS side. I always feel like I get shortchanged. There are online products that I use that they say, "Oh, our Android version's coming soon," and I, I think they're lying. They just yeah, that was actually kind of like a no-brainer for us to focus on the Android just because of like the coverage. Like we, we really wanted to do that that one first, but fear not, iOS users. I am an iOS user also, so we will really. 
kind of focus on bringing it as soon as possible also. You know, that that says a lot about the integrity of your company and your goals, that the, the, mm. the CEO <laughs> won't even be able to use it right away. I will buy an Android. You'll buy an Android app. phone. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so let's let's just kind of start to wrap up. But but tell us mm. about what the what the experience would be like if I if I had this thing in front of me and and I'm I'm dying to get my hands on one. And actually, a great tangent, folks. Um, no money is changing hands here. This is there's no this is not a pay to play episode. I know there are podcasts out there that that let guests come on and pitch their products and, and they, they make some money or a cut. None of that is happening. None of that will ever happen with, with this show, with Martial Arts Radio. That is incredibly important to me. If we're going to bring you something, whether that's a story or a guest or a product, it's strictly because we think it's something that you may be interested in. So let's pretend I had one of these. I had a Kick AI mm. and I, I – I, put the strap on and I drop it into the holster mm. and I step out on the training floor. What kind of things, what kind of information would come back from that training session and what information will be available in later versions? Yeah, well, that's, that's really important for us. Like, as, as I said, my background is from service design and, and UX user experience. So like, and coming from martial arts world, I mean, I think the whole user experience starts from the moment that you pack up your stuff and you go to the dojang. Like you have to kind of have some ways to kind of like from your big bag of protective gear and stuff like that. You have to have this nice little kind of package which you can bring with you and kind of like Un unwrap it quickly and like wear it quickly and wear it with your sparring gear and it's 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 really about that user experience if we mess it up there then it doesn't really matter what's on the on the app side really because um, people are not going to use it so so that's really incredibly important for us also but like yeah uh, you wear it you start training you choose from your simulations or you do the kind of the uh, free training mode, which tells you how how you did you punch on, punch on like uh, how many rounds are you gonna do round length uh, pause length and then you just do what you normally would do or you start to do our our training simulations and the uh, the whole idea is to kind of like give you a bigger picture of your training uh, in order for you to kind of make it easier to to do the right decisions on your on your training but like we we really really focused on the on the kind of the whole whole package which means that like it it should be easy to wear uh it should be super easy to use because like i i know that when my gear is missing and 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 it starts ripping up and it's it's incredibly annoying to you know just do it with your duct tape and stuff like that so, so we're we really want this to be kind of like durable and easy to use as possible but yeah like the whole thing is like you get data from your training that you can you can leverage leverage in different ways of course we're gonna have stuff like uh leaderboards and stuff like that so you really like like if you just get data and you don't have anything to compare it with what's the, there's not much use to that anyways so uh we're gonna have leaderboards and and you can uh, i'm sure our Aaron cook is gonna use it so um, you can compare your stats to his because this is gonna be so cool that aaron's not gonna say no for this <laughs> So we'll, you'll be able to get data back on on how many kicks you threw. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how that's fast. one thing. How fast, and then you're gonna have you're gonna have like uh, we're gonna have uh, a way to kind of tell you that was this round better than last round and and stuff like that. So so it's gonna really push you harder on on your on your training. And I know the product's called Kick AI, yeah. but could I strap this onto my wrist and track punches? Uh, the thing is that we really focused on kicks because, like, there is stuff on on the punching part already, and and we we wanted this to kind of help out the kickers out out there because they're they're really lacking at this point. But like, uh, we do have some ideas on the punching also, but that's not a whole that's not 
too much of a big deal for us right now because we we really know that there's there's competition out there and there's good products already out there so we don't want to kind of like pretend that we know punches as well as we know kicks because we really do know kicks sure and the thing is that like you asked like how is it gonna feel like i'm gonna just share you a personal experience like uh, i mean as you know we have been doing this for for quite a while now and uh the first or this version that we have now right now of, of our product i was super amazed when i when i i mean obviously i know what we're doing and i know what i'm expecting this to be but when i started training with this one it was amazing like uh i wore the thing and i started doing like basic sparring movement like wtf style you have switching sides and stuff like that really really like high velocity velocity things going down on the on the ground level and the like our sensor and the app it didn't take any of that movement on the account but as soon as i threw a kick it showed me the speed so i was like yeah it's gonna work like it was was just i was so happy about it like like it's like the most basic thing that it doesn't take into account like those fast things going on on the ground level and as soon as you hit that hit that bag or, or meet so whatever, it, it tells you how fast your kick was. I was like, yeah, it's going to work. It's going to work out great. Mm. Cool. And do I wear one of these or two? Uh, well, we have options for, for that. Like you can just order one and you will have plenty of features for that. But obviously Taekwondo being a two-legged sport, then then it would be better off with two, but we really wanted to give an option also to try out with one. And, and you can later on order another sensor also. So it's it's kind of a low, low kind of, um, like you can get into it easily with sure. just one. Sure, for people that, that want to test it out. and Yeah, sure. You know, normally this is the point in in a show where somebody says, okay, I'm I'm interested and I want to check it out. And then they go to the website and they find the price and mm. they're scared away. So okay. h- how how much is one of these? Uh, yeah, so we're selling this for $118 for a single and uh, $229 for a kit. But uh, the price includes VAT from, from Finland. So, I mean, obviously, uh, because of EU legislation, we have to tell the price including VAT also for overseas so obviously people from outside EU will have the price uh, deduction of 24% from that and you will have to pay the the taxation from your country obviously but it's it's just for EU legislations that we had to right. add that 24% of that for that so in other or words would be trouble <laughs> in other words for for american customers and and the majority of our listeners mm. are are from the US. We're talking under $200 for yeah. two of these. Yeah. And which makes it usable for obviously. Yeah, sp- and sparring scenarios and stuff like that. Anybody that has checked out a decent quality Fitbit Jawbone up, etc. knows that you're paying over $100 for one of those. Yes. So, you know, honestly, one of the things that I I, I had a small list of of checkboxes before I reached out to you. And mm. one of them was the price reasonable. And mm. honestly, I was a little surprised at the price. I thought it was, I thought it was less expensive. You know, I, it was less yeah, expensive. Like, than I thought it was going to be. And how often does that happen? Yeah. The thing is that we really want this to be affordable also for the big masses of um, on take water practitioners. I mean, it's, it's a huge sport. There's 80 million practitioners, uh, out there who who are really like need this thing so we really want this to be kind of affordable to to most of of those people so i mean yeah uh, general wearables they tend to be like really expensive and they like most of them just do do the same general stuff so uh, uh people have been pretty surprised at how low, how low we are selling this right now so I'm pretty happy about the price point because I, will, uh, I don't want to be in a point where where I have to kind of tell people that yeah it's so expensive because like I mean yeah sure it's a it's a business it's a company but I um, I really want this to be available to most people. Great, great. And 
Is there anything that we didn't talk about, anything we didn't cover that you want listeners to know, any highlights or features or thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we, we went through most of the stuff right there. But like, uh, I mean, uh, as a martial artist myself, I mean, I just want to wanna tell you again how excited I am about like what we have achieved here. And, and I'm super happy that like people from the kicking community, martial arts community have taken this up so well. Like we have we have gotten like tremendous amounts of like generous feedback on this. So we are we are just super happy to be doing this it's it's a passion project and it's a dream and and it's it's realizing so everything's great well great and i appreciate you coming on and and again folks check this thing out uh i'm excited to get mine and kickai.com or whistlekickmartialartsradio.com you know i'll drop some photos and you know hopefully jan eric will send me some some stuff that we can you know, press kit or whatever, whatever they do, we can drop some photos in over there. And, and, you know, believe me, once I get mine, I will be doing a review. So if, if you want to wait, wait, but this is a pretty cool thing. And something that I think those of us like myself that are going to get in early are going to be pretty excited to, to play with. And for those of you that are competitive, I mean, the sooner you get something like this, the, the sooner you can get some data and, and, and get better. And man, I, I've got some, some folks that are asking me to do some coaching for them and this may become a required piece. So <laughs> perfect. Thanks again for coming on and, and hope to talk to you again soon. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. I had a lot of fun talking to Jan Eric and we talked a bit about having him back on the show. I hope that happens. I know he's really busy right now. They are taking pre-orders like crazy it's really exciting as an entrepreneur to see what other entrepreneurs are doing, especially in the martial arts space. Let's be honest. There aren't a lot of us really pushing the envelope on some of these things in the martial arts world. We're a pretty traditional, rather conservative, uh, sometimes stuck group of people. But anytime I see someone moving the ball forward, I at least want to offer them my support, whether that's coming on the show or just simply sending him an email, as I'm known to do, to say, hey, great job, keep it up. If you want to know more about Kick AI, you can go to kickai.com, or you can check out our website, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com, see what we've got written up over there, check out the exclusive discount code that they gave us that, again, we don't benefit from, just trying to share it and hook you guys up where we can. So that's over on the website. Don't forget, you can find us on social media, at Whistlekick. You can find the Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio behind the scenes group on Facebook. We're all over the place. Check out our products at whistlekick.com. That's all I've got for you today. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.